Hello, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric, and the stator I have here is out of a 94 440 Articat Cougar. And this is a pretty special stator. They didn't use these on a lot of models for a lot of years. Uh, they used them on a few of the 440s. But uh, you can tell by looking at it that this one is much different looking than many of the other stators I've done videos on. The two large coils here, those are your power coils for powering your hand warmers and lights and gauges and so forth. And we still have two ignition coils on here. We've got a low speed and a high speed. Here's our low speed and here's our very small high speed on this. Our low speed, the special thing about that is that it is basically 1200 ohms. Uh, sometimes it'll measure higher like 1270, 1280, but we just kind of say 1200 ohms and that pretty much covers it. So no other stator that Cap made tests that high for ohms. So checking this one is much like checking any of the other stators I have. First thing we can do is we take a look at the plugs here. We've got our two plugs, a three prong, a triangle shape, and then a four prong. The four prong here, that's the one that just plugs into your wiring harness. And that one has got the two yellow wires in it. And we can go ahead and check those wires for continuity. Our two yellow wires here, those are for our power from our coils here. And basically with continuity checks, all you're looking for is to make sure the wire isn't broken. So your ohms are going to be very low, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, uh, sometimes 0.4. So just take, it doesn't matter if you use positive or negative leads, put those in the two female positions there. And you can see on the multimeter, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So we know that there's continuity and that that wire isn't broken anywhere and should be putting out good AC power. Uh, the other thing we can check, we can check our ground here on our three prong. Some of these are a little bit different the way the ground's set up. Uh, they have a ground that goes all the way through to the other side here. So you can just check continuity on this. Uh, we've got continuity from that wire to, we've got our two yellows over here and then we've got our male and then uh, the, the other connector there we haven't used yet. So you can see on the multimeter there, 0 0.5, and that's uh, for ignition and for uh, the sw uh, ignition switch and so forth. So, checking the actual ohms on this, we were, now we've got our three-prong plug. Instead of uh, getting wrapped up in, you know, wire color and so forth, I just use orientation. I've got the male at the bottom here, and then the two female connectors above. And what we're going to do is, I first of all have to change the range on my ohm meter. I'm going to change that up to 2,000 ohms. So make sure you have, I'd say 2,000 is about a minimum, because this will get close to uh, 12, 1,300 when you measure. So what we can do is, uh, first of all, we'll check our male to the top left female. And you can see on the ohm meter... 1285 that is the low speed and the high speed coil in series so we've got our male to the upper left hand female now male to the upper right hand female there's 12 you know 1269 1270 that is your low speed coil by itself and then our two females our two females here are just the high speed coil which is roughly you know, 15, 16 ohms. It says 16. Turn your multimeter down to the next lowest setting, and uh, usually it'll come down to the 15 range, but yep, 16.3, that's fine. So now you know that both your low speed and your high speed measure correctly. Uh, your ground measures correctly. You've got continuity, and your lighting coil measures correctly. Usually when these go bad, You'll see on your low speed coil, instead of, you know, 1200 ohms, 1250, uh, 1150, instead of something in that range, you start seeing like 800, maybe 900, you know, or 700. It, it, you know, it's much, much lower than the uh, rough uh, 1200 uh, that it should be. So that's how you test one of these stators. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always uh, PM me or post in the comments below. Thank you.